I'm Brian Mitchell giving you your news and updates on the Golden Gloves website. Yeah, absolutely. Tulani Mbengi is one of our star fighters right now. Tulani Mbengi is 13 and 0. He's got like 11 knockouts. Uh, he's a very credible welterweight. He, I believe he can hold his own in the welterweight division worldwide. He's now fighting uh, Diego Chavez, which is a tough fight for him. Chavez got a draw with Timothy Bradley, and Timothy Bradley is a really good fighter. So we're expecting a tough fight for our man Tulani Mbengi, but you've got to swim in this game, and we need to know how good he is. He's, he's the main liner on the 23rd of June, but we look forward to Tulani Mbengi going 14-0. Well, Chris Van Heerden fight has always been spoken about because the reason being Chris is a former IBO champion from South Africa. But at this stage, I don't even think Tulani Mbengi needs uh, Chris Van Heerden. You know, Chris Van Heerden's doing his own thing in America and he's doing well. But I believe Tulani Mbengi is going to take it to the next level. This is an IBO world title fight for Tulani Mbengi. It's the same IBO title that Chris Van Heerden used to own. Mm -hmm. So I think Tulani Mbengi is going to be ahead of Chris Van Heerden at this stage. Well, DJ Creel's also one of those very exciting fighters from South Africa. I love his work ethic. He trains very hard. He trains, uh, I'd like to say, like I used to train. And um, that's what makes him so special. You know, he's got good moves, he's got good footwork. And I think he learned a lot from America. But, you, you know, it's, uh, well, our gyms are as good as the American gyms, you know. And our fighters, when we get to the highest level, become as good as the American fighters. But, yeah, if DJ's happy getting something from, from America, great for him. I'd like to see uh, DJ Creel against uh, some people conquer at some stage. And I think in the near future, a fight like that's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, it's a pity he's been out of action for so long. You know, it's very difficult for, for Golden Gloves to keep all these, the, the, the small guys busy because there's so many of them. But a, a terrific fighter, uh, some people conquer. And I'm glad he's got a fight again that he's on the, on the 10th of June fights in Tata. And we look forward to the return of, of some people conquer. Uh, he's a good fighter. And as I said, who knows, maybe in the near future we could see DJ Creel and some Pee Wee Conker, two guys that are good friends from the same stable, Colin Nathan stable, but it needs to happen, I think, one day. Keith and well, welcome to the Golden Gloves offices. Well, this is obviously for our Golden Gloves website. You're the new signing now for Golden Gloves, and Golden Gloves is, is very excited about it. Uh, tell us more about yourself. Well, uh, I'm very excited to be part of the Golden Gloves team. I can't wait to have my first fight for them and I'm, I'm happy where I'm training with coach Peter and I wouldn't want to train with anyone else. What is your amateur career record? It was 30 fights, all wins. 30 fights, all wins, that's fantastic. And Peter tells me that you, 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 you're hovering around the cruiserweight division right now, is that right? Yes, um, I came in at heavyweight but with this training it's so intense and it's my body is it's actually shocking it's like i'm a novice at it that's how hard it is and my weight's dropping so i might fight a couple of fights at cruiser we'll just see what my coach thinks great well let's ask you your new coach of course peter smith fantastic coach kevin arena's coach peter you've been around a long time the son of the famous Chrissy smith too um, tell us your new signing keith and gums you excited about him uh, we haven't seen him fight yet obviously in johannesburg and not as a pro because he's only turned pro tell us about keaton Brian, thanks. Yeah, um, Keaton is a very, um, a very talented kid, and I'm excited for him because it's raw, and I've got him from the ground roots. Um, so our development now starts at an early age, where we don't have, uh, like you know, get bad habits that have been created. So I'm, I'm excited to watch him grow, um, and I believe he's going to go big places. Um, I, you know, obviously working with the best promoter in in, in the business, Rodney Berman. You know, you can't go wrong. I mean, you you nurturing a guy and he's, the, the teamwork is incredible. So there's a great future ahead of us and I'm, I'm very excited. Keaton, you're obviously a youngster. You're going to turn out to be a heavyweight. You can see by your size. Uh, who's your heavyweight heroes out there? I'd have to say it's tough. It's between AJ or Deontay Wilder. I want to see that fight happen. Okay, and for your future, you... you would you like to be world heavyweight champion? Yes, that's definitely a goal. I'm not settling for, it has to be a world title. Well, fantastic, Keaton. Well, as I say, welcome once again. You're young, you're nearly as good looking as I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're seriously young, good looking, got the frame. And we look forward to seeing you on the next Golden Glove show. Yes, welcome. I'm excited. From me, Brian Mitchell, hope you enjoyed our chat. And watch our website. We'll keep you updated with all the Golden Gloves action. <laughs>